going on guys my name is george and this is sas master today we're going to check out keep solid sign which is an internet document signer so you don't have to be physically with another person to actually sign a contract keep solid takes care of this and it actually protects it for you so there's no editing after you've signed the contract so let's say for both of the users so this is our main site. If you want, if you guys want to grab the deal that's on right now, check out the link in the description. Now, what's so cool about Keep Solid Sign is that it's available on different platforms. So you can have it on Mac, iOS, Android, Web, and Windows. Now, just a little heads up: Web is not like you can't do everything. That's probably going to be in, implemented later. But on the rest, you can. So you can have it on your phone, or you can have it on your desktop, and you can use it right now. So this is the web version, and like I said, you can view documents, templates, archive, my signatures, fact, API dashboard, but you can actually create a brand new document and send out. So you have to do that from other platforms. So let's open up the platform that I have right now. So I'm using a Mac, and I got Keep Solid Sign right now open. And what I'm going to do, the first thing that we have to do is create a brand new document. So I'm going to click right here on the right top, so it's Add a New Document. And you have the option to add from Finder, Dropbox, iCloud, Google Drive, OneDrive, and Box. In this case, I'm just going to select Finder, select the document right here from my desktop. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we have a better view and zoom on this document. This is just a sample document. All right, let's go down here. And first thing we're going to do is create brand new signers. So here on the right and center, you can create a brand new signer. In this case, I am going to create one of my second emails right here. So just that one added. Let's add the signer. So now it's right here. So I have the signer right here. I didn't set a name. These are just testing purpose. So now we have this contract. It has to be in a PDF format. And what we're going to do is select text fields where they're actually going to fill information. So in this case, there's not a lot to fill out, but let's go down here. Hold on and should be a box all right here so let's just say this right here contractor let's just say this is information that your client that you're going to send a contract to has to fill in so let's click on annotate right here top left and we have these options so it's signature initials text date and check mark so in this case we're going to select text so this text box just pops up and we are going to put it down here so we are going to resize it also Okay, there we go and I'm going to appoint this to this person so I'm gonna sign it here and click on this green button on the, on the bottom left the bottom right sorry and sign so you can see it changed colors so this means that the user must uh, fill this part right here so it's up to them to fill this part it's not up to you so they got they know they have to do this and we can do this so on and so forth for the documents. If I had to sign it, then I would sign it to me, not to another person. Just click on text, put it here. Let's just say it resized. Let's just say we had to fill out the date, so it's assigned to me. And I would put me assign. So you see, you have a different color. And you can change this text. You just double click on it and you change it and you put, hey, fill in title here. Fill in your, in your business information. Easy. Now let's head on over to the signing part. Let's see. Uh, can't find it here let's just say for example there's a signing part right here right so maybe your client has a sign right here so let's click create a signature so let's give them a space right here create a signature let's assign so it's appointed to the signer add a signer all right and let's just say I had to sign it also and there's a space over here whoops Move this over here okay let's just say this was me just an example and I would assign it to me assign and done now when you send this document out people have to sign there now um, you can add more signers right here you just add them and you can also fix signing order so you can say in what order you'd have to sign so for example if you had five people that have signed then it goes in order if you want to if not you just take it off what would this be helpful for I mean I would just take for example you have a company of five and the CEO has to sign it and then the rest of the people like marketing team, sales team, uh, inventory and all that. And maybe, hey, if the CEO didn't sign it first, there's no point of other people signing it. Just for example, no? Or maybe for example, you know, the marketing team won't even bother to sign it unless the CEO signed it. So these, these are just examples, right? All right. 
So once you have that done and you say, hey, okay, those are the, the spaces that we have to fill out, everything's good. We don't want to do this. Maybe a check mark for something that you want to add. Hold on. Maybe a check mark right here. And you want to add that and you want to point it to someone. You can do that also. Maybe like, hey, terms and conditions, check mark here. All right. So those are the options you have. And let's proceed. Let's wait for that. Okay, there's a preview of it. So let's, it's already sent. Okay, so now it's sent. It says unread, so it's gonna tell us if it's read or not. Let's head on over to the email and open it. Give me a second. All right, guys, so this is the email that your user, your client just received. So what we're gonna do right now is proceed to open document. Now be aware that the signing uh, email is from them, like service at sign.keepsolid.com and it doesn't let you customize that. I hope they add that feature later, but for now, I mean, I'm good. It looks professional because you know, it's, it's a signing company that's gonna take care of this. So maybe it gives them more confidence instead of being your own brand saying, hey, maybe they might change it later or they have like this tricky thing. In this case, it's a company taking care of it. So let's open document. I hope it doesn't interfere because I have my account open. If not, I'll close it right now. So it's loading the document. It's in an HTTP, so with HTTPS, so everything's good. And you have that information really quick. You have to fill two fields to fill out. All right. Okay, so I have to read and agree, sign disclosure, get started. And I just say, hey, you know what? I'll read all this. You know, I'm just reading and reading. And oh, okay, here's the first star. Wow. All right. So let's click right here and this is a test test okay save so that's done oh you actually have a like a what do you call it like a funnel right here it tells you what to do so step two. Oh, you can even jump to there so that's pretty cool so now here is the signing option so let's click on it and we got the pencil so this case would be you know what it's C for client right that's just, just an example and, and there you go so so you read it you filled out the spaces that had to be done. You now send it. Boom, great. You have just successfully signed the do one document. Once our recipients finish signing, you will receive an email notification with link to that to the document. So after I sign it, then they will receive a second signature, uh, second email with the actual document signed by both of the person. So let's head on over here, click on this. All right. So you can see now the it's just updated and it says waiting for me. So it's actually signed by them and now it's waiting for me. So how cool is that? Let's see if I open it. Hold on. I want to find that field. All right. See, there's test test. Now I have to add my own. Oh, no, nope, that would be something else. Well, this is where you would actually do it or I actually get the email. I think I would actually get the email and do it from there. All right, so next thing we have are templates. So this is SAS Master. You can actually save this as a template, I guess. Okay, so if I click right click, you can duplicate. So let's duplicate it. Is that going to refresh? All right, new folder with section, duplicate document info. So this is the information also, name one, waiting for me. Reminder, templates, you would add templates right here. Archive, if you delete it, well, that's obvious, huh? Contacts would be right here. So there should be the contact I sent to. Yep, there it is. Now, all contacts would be here. My signature. This is my signature. I just added SM for so SAS Master. This is not actually my signature. But you can pre-have it right here. So you do it. So you have the template and you just uh, put it there. Instead of wasting time and doing it each time, you have it here and support frequently asked questions and purchase. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty awesome. Let me open the web version again. Okay, open the web version. And here it is. Should be here once I update it. It's pretty awesome to have this virtual e-signing option. Let me sign in again. It's pretty cool to have this, like I said. So here they are. These are my tests that I've run. This, you can see there's nothing, there's not like a yellow uh, 
clock as, as you would have here. So you open, create template, copy, see what happens if I open it. So if I open it, it'll take me to, okay, so it takes me to my field right here, save, signature, my signature. Oh, did you see that? Since I have it saved, it's done. So let's send that out. And we have a green check mark. Now, both users should be getting the email and you can see the document. Let's go ahead and open just to see it. All right, guys, so this is the email and now you can see, important, the status of the document has been changed to complete. So let's open the document. Now we should be getting both the same document with the same information already filled out. There's no signing anymore, there's nothing to do. Let's wait for it to load. There you go, so you can see both names, signed and signed. Audit trial, do that. Let's go down here. Hold on, let's go to those fields. You can see they're signed. I can click on it, there's no more editing. What's done is done. I mean, the contract is signed. So, what do you guys think? I think it's awesome. And I just found out something that's also pretty cool. Document version 1.1. So it probably updates if there's some like changes to it. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty awesome. All right, guys. If you guys want to grab the, this deal, the link is going to be in the description. My name is George. This is SAS Master. And I'll see you guys later.